Okay, this is an important concept. There are people that talk about, uh, man, that guy is lucky. He's always lucky, he's always killing bucks. And when I talk to these people, and they have a certain amount of jealousy that's associated with feeling like everybody else is lucky, I ask them, how do they prepare? You know, how do they not feel lucky? You know, they feel literally unlucky. And they say, well, I go in the woods, and I do a little scouting, and, and I, I might sit in an area, and, and I say, well, how much scouting? You know, if you're gonna be a sitter, how much scouting are you doing? And they'll say, well, you know, I, I, I do a little, you know, da, da, da. So, there's a difference between random luck and real luck. Real luck is not luck at all. It's when preparedness and opportunity meet. That's when you get lucky, okay? So, that's what people don't understand. If you rely on random luck, it's a tough taskmaster because that's the guy that goes in the big woods, he shoots two big bucks in his lifetime, he spent 25 years going to camp, and he just feels like the unlucky guy. Now, I grew up running through the woods since I was this big, I never felt really unlucky because I always saw deer. I almost always see deer in the big woods, but there was that day I didn't even cut a track. That happens too. But I know that if I keep at it, if I keep pushing, because I've prepared myself, Bob's prepared himself, he's my hunting partner, I know we're gonna see deer. And, and then that builds on itself. So, so let's learn how to create real luck. That's that th third bullet down. The four P's, Hal talks about the three P's, which is patience, practice, and pers per persistence. I added preparation. And I guess practice and, and uh, preparation are somewhat similar. But before I ever go into the woods, I prepared my gear. I understand that I'm, I'm ready for this physically. I prepare my mind. I'm always thinking I'm going to kill the buck. But I also allow myself sort of that adaptability that when bad things happen, there's always the next day. You know, you have to have the, the, the ability to shake off a bad set of circumstances, like when that buck got across the lake. I mean, he was a beautiful main buck. At 300 yards going through the waves, I could see a rack and a wake as he's swimming away from me. You know, and you could easily say, I'm pretty unlucky. But I got up the next day, and I hunted again, and I was on another buck. It wasn't unlucky. I got to see him. That's exciting, you know? So you gotta pile in all these experiences and find the silver lining in everything you do. Always, or else the track will beat you and you'll quit. So, patience while in the woods and with yourself. Be patient with yourself. It's okay to feel bad. It's okay to feel unlucky for a moment shake it off, and then just keep moving. 